in blood clot. He's 28, too old. Now, man's blood clot 31 and thinking nothing's going to stop me. That's what I was about to say, bro. That's That leads me on to the next question, yeah, man. Next question was, yeah, that, like, I hear you talk a lot about, like, I hear you talk a lot about, like, um... Like, get, getting older and blah, blah, blah. Like, you say, oh, first, when I came to jail, I was 21. I'm touching dirty 30 now. It's getting long. That's what you say, yeah? But hear me. Yeah. Hear me, yeah? Cause man's not 30 yet, but man's en route, yeah? And I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, yeah, bro, this thing, bro, man's got time, fam. You see, in the grand scheme of things, bro, man's not old, you know, blood. You get, yeah. Like, fam, you know what it is? You see, because England, the scene's new and that. We ain't got Snoop Dogg. We ain't got Rick Ross, we ain't got them, them and yeah. there, them and there is 50, 45s, blah, 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 still making hits that the youths are listening to now, you understand what I'm saying? So because we yeah. don't have, our scene ain't developed um, that much, yeah, we ain't seen older rappers, but here's an example, you mentioned Potter as well, Potter's same age as you, bro, he's still right now popping, there's all, man, yeah. like, man like R.A., older than man, Tiny yeah, Boost, yeah. Older than me. like you get, I don't want to keep you know what it is? Go on, go on. Now, of course, you know what it is. When I was young, I used to feel like that, and then now I feel less so. But because of the experiences that I went through, like I said, the first day, go back to the question that you asked here. Yeah. The first day, what used to keep my head on, I gotta get my first parole. Twenty eight. I'm still gonna have two years in my twenties. I can pop like. I've always had confidence in me, but like people hear me now, like I'm harder than I've ever been, bro. Like I wrote about the other day and I sat down to myself and said, man, nigga, bro, it's what man's saying, bro, differently more than anything, look, yeah. It's just, but I worked that hard when I was going to get out if I never caught my extra case and I was still focused on what people wanted to hear, yeah. So I was thinking, yeah, when I call my extra case now, that was a dark time. When I got, when I got blamed with that one, that was a dark time because everything was unsure. Like, yeah, okay, I was supposed to get out. Now, I'm not get, not only am I not getting out, I'm about to do what I've basically just done. If not, you get me, that less. But, okay, raw, fuck music. For all of that, like no one, like no one's real, bro. I literally seen things, man, again, yeah. And I want to put this into perspective here, bro. When you're saying, when I knew I couldn't do things, no, not only did I know I couldn't do things, people actively show you that you can, not and send them drop. When I was in the green fighting this team, it was bare we from bare people. Everyone that knows, man, we you're about to get out. We're gonna do this. We can start doing shows. We can open a food shop. We can this. Soon as I got my extra word, bro, I never spoke to certain people again. Still ain't spoke to them all now. You get what I'm saying? Like, and some of these people are family members, but at the same like, so my head was fully gone. I was like, fuck this blood, like yo, and then like I gotta say, friends, bro, because I was lucky enough that. And this is why I say God's with me, brother, and he's on my journey, and I'm meant to make it, brother. They don't even know. They're going to understand when I land, though. And man showed the whole story, bro, but they don't even get it, bro. I have to get it, bro. Like, when I got shipped out of the Green fam, it was when the Green got condemned. If he was there, you know, they shut down bare windows. They said the jail was on really, and they shipped out all the problems, bro. Mm. By God, bro. I got sent, I got shipped out the same day as Little Blake's blood. <laughs> so dumb. Bro, people need to really understand this. I got shipped out to do my, my head was falling off, you know, I'm going to tell you. But I got shipped out with my nigga that I've been with since we was boxing, mm. waist high to what we are now. So it's like, and I didn't realize the blessing of that then. Mm. I'm just saying. Did that help you mentally? Huh? Did, that, did that help you mentally? Million percent blood. Million percent blood. Like, my member, even though me and my man is the same person, mm. in terms of, you know KB, then you know Blake, you know Blake, you know KB. Blake was into this, then KB was into the same thing. You get me? Everyone knows us together, even if you don't know us. But we got two very different journeys, don't you? Mm. 
I'm KB and I rap, he doesn't. I could have done this. His journey's always got to be different. Like, he can't rely on man or my music talent and he never could. You get me? He can, because if I pop, he does. But as a man, you can't rely on my bridges. Mm. Especially when we're knee deep, fucking in this savage mode shit, bro. Mm. You get me? So, like, our journeys have been different, but I feel like he's always been there for man and understood the journey. So, I feel like when he seen man was down, this is why you got to talk to your niggas, bro, or whoever you love, man. This mental health shit. I don't know about the road, bro, because there's so much shit for an outlet. Mm. <clears throat> but in here, when you wake up no one there, but you feel like you ain't, you got to chat to man. Because when I went to my man, I was like, boy, this bird, man, like, bro, man was supposed to get out. All my real fears that inside me that I wouldn't say to you, bro, mm. I said to my man, bro, mm. you get me? And my man kind of was like, Fuck it, bro. You just have to get on my wing, bro. Nothing matters. None of that matters. Just get with me, bro. Man loves you, bro. And no matter what, we're always going to be like this, bro. Even if it's in here, out there, wherever. But music, no music. Like, and then a week later, he got me on the wing. They was blocking us for time. It's like, this is what I mean. It's like it was written. It was blocking us. One day, they come to me and go, like, Blake, Got you on scene. Wow, God, my life changed from that yeah. day. A week later, a man got me in the pad. I haven't wrote a while, but one by eight months. Mm. And in my opinion, it's shit, bro. Because mm. I've only had one beat. I, I read it to the ass school beat, yeah. Um, ass. Uh, my bad is so mean. Uh, it's yours. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever tune that is. I've got that, I've got no beat, and I've ripped the bar to that, but I'm thinking, does it sound like my man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got on the wing, man have put on that Casanova beat, that so Brooklyn. Yeah, oh. <laughs> um, mm. Man's coming mm. like, oh, what did I say? I never sold a hundred bricks like big meat, but I had a big shot in me to big reach. Yeah. I really filled up my shells and put them in neeks, mm. bro. <laughs> and... The whole pad, every, it was just a moment, bro, mm. like, music started again from then. Okay. Put the freestyle on Insta, it blew up. Mm. Before that, there was no music, G. Mm. Then, man's just writing bars every day now, looking forward. It's similar to when I was in Alsbury. Man's looking forward to coming out and spitting to the man. Because I'm spitting fire, my nigga, mm. like... Hardest than ever, we don't do justice. Them bars when they spit live in a pad, mm. everyone's sweating, it's hot, mm. and man is just spazzing. Nothing can compare to that. That's why them three stars go so mad because mm. the, the energy generator. And then I just said to Blake, like, bro, I'm gonna do a tape. Mm. He's like, I'd already done one before, but he's like, ah, oh, the one before weren't really hitting though. Like, mm. so like the jail thing, like, I don't know. I said, bro. I'm going to do a tape, bro. It's going to go mad. He's like, what are you going to call it? I was like, fuck no. And then one day, I just come out, I was like, bro, I was going to be me. And it was self-explanatory, yeah. bro. That's why everyone that I said that to you never said, oh, why? Now, like, bro, I don't know. People could say pot. People could say nines. I don't know who else is up there for what, the best. What to say, hardest but, never blue? Or are you talking about the one? Or nah, the for best? hardest for bars, for yeah, getting yeah, yeah, blue yeah. if you're not blue. Yeah, or yeah. level level playing field. And when I say bars, I'm talking about say that cell or old school sets mm. or at the park or at a house party, whatever. The beat goes on and man's going to splash it. Who's the hardest with it, yeah? Anybody that's been around me mm. is saying me. I'm confident in that. Especially if they've been around me in the trenches. Mm. They say me, bro. Mm. I, I've got no doubts, brother. I've got no doubts, bro. So wait, they want to... And that's just because, like... Mm. So, what you're, so what, you're, what you're harder than Potter, then, is what you're saying? Nah, listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying anyone that's been around me when I'm in the trench said I'm the hardest because... When people ask me, that's a different story. I never say me because I don't think me. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Who's the hardest then? Let's get into that. <laughs>